What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch here with Dilly Vanilli. We are here to discuss the New York Jets. Big move. They traded for Kaleche Osemele, and now they have added a receiver to the offense with Sam Darnold and company. Jamison Crowder will be the new slot threat for Sam Darnold, a wide receiver that could provide to be the best friend of the young quarterback and Crowder, I've always been a huge fan of. You know that, Dilly Vanilli. Yep. I, I think he gives you multiple different things. He is a slot receiver with great quickness, and he is a very quarterback-friendly wide receiver. He just has this kind of way about him that allows for great chemistry between no matter who the quarterback is. And he is a player that also, even though for his size, he's a shorter guy, can go vertical because he has the speed to do so. And then he's also a punt returner. He, he's good in that facet of the game as well. So he provides multiple starters and multiple positions. And he is a pretty good slot receiver as well. I think he's been underutilized to a certain degree over the past couple of seasons with Washington. And I think he hasn't really had the best offense around him. But hopefully... Um, we know that Adam Gase's offense is very slot oriented. Now the new head coach of the Jets. So will that mean that Crowder is going to be a big part of it or will he ultimately disappoint Dylan? Yep. What do you think of this move, bro? Contract details, three years, $28.5 million, 17 of that guaranteed. So there's your details on that. Um, like you said, I, I think Jamison Crowder is a very underrated receiver. The stats don't really show that, which is unfortunate because he's been kind of hurt as of the last uh, last year. He only played in seven games, started in seven games. Um, he's only started like a certain amount every year, like the year before that. He he's, I think it's because he's the slot receiver, so it doesn't really show that he started. Or uh, yeah, it, it, it's weird, right? But the 2017, he had 66 catches, 789 yards, three touchdowns. Last year, he was injured for a little bit of time, so he wasn't able to showcase his great talent and all that. But overall, I like this signing. Uh, the Jets have been kind of weak on uh, the wide receiver. Quincy Inouye is still a good talent. He just doesn't have as many great stats as you would want. And Robbie Anderson was a big disappointment for me in 2018. So having a guy like Jamison Crowder really helps. Uh, and like you said, the Adam Gase offense focuses on slot receivers, and Crowder is going to be a good talent. He's very athletic. Um, we watched them in the Redskins and I personally, every time I watch the Redskins receivers, I get frustrated because they just never show up. But Crowder was one guy that I could depend on, uh, if the quarterback ever threw to him. So having Sam Darnold there, who is going to go all, all over the field. That's one thing that I saw from him. He's going to go to every different guy. He's not going to, uh, take away from one guy, you know? So I, I like what I saw to that. And, uh, Crowder is going to be a good receiver for him. A little bit of an expensive contract, but uh, if he's given the opportunities that I think the Jets will give him, uh, this is going to be a good signing. So overall, thumbs up. Yeah, I think part of this is his potential because he hasn't really shown his full potential yet. Yeah, again, he's only 25. He's going to be 26 going into this year. I think he still has the potential to, you're talking about the production, the stats. He has the potential to go to a thousand yard season. I, I could see it from him. I actually think the Jets now have a pretty good through a trio at wide receiver. Um, they just need to figure out a way to get Robbie Anderson figured out as a vertical threat. They need to get that back because last year he wasn't really relevant in terms of being a vertical threat downfield. Sam Darnold didn't really use him a ton in that area of the game. So if he can get back to that and to his 2017 form, Robbie Anderson, then I think this receiver core can be very good because we saw Quincy Anunwa can be a, a good receiver and Jamison Crowder is a good receiver. So that trio, I think it's a lot of different type of body types, a lot of different type of player types, and I think that's always a good thing for a receiver core. And, you know, Kaleccio Assembly adding to the offensive line. I think if the Jets get another playmaker, possibly at running back, no name's going to be thrown out there. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say anybody in particular. But if they could add possibly a running back, I think this Jets offense could ultimately be a lot more explosive with a offensive coach and with a couple of weapons added. So it's going to be interesting to see the Jets this year with Jamison Crowder added to his contract. I think 
you know, $9 million. It's look, Sammy Watkins makes like 15 a year and he had like four, oh. 400 yards before oh, he got he signed. Knew that, so. He knew that signing wasn't going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying like the receiver position is an odd one for contracts, but Crowder, I think will live up to live up to the contract because he, like I said, he's a punt returner. He's a slot receiver. And Adam Gase loves the slot receiver. Let us know what you guys think about this signing Jamison Crowder to the Jets. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let us know. Bronx, like that like button and subscribe for more NFL. Peace out.